Hey guys, welcome back to this video where I'll be showing you guys how to design high converting emails right inside Canva. So even if you're a complete beginner or a founder that's on a budget, you can design amazing looking emails without any Photoshop skills and without any uh, kind of like advanced skills in Lightroom or anything along those lines. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to be using the free version of Canva, which is plenty to get started. I'm going to design a kind of like a off the cuff email for one of my clients transform a table. So let's jump right into it. When it comes to email design, what you want to do first of all is you want to hit create design and instead of uh, using selecting the edit photo or import PDF option, you want to hit custom size, right? And here's where it starts kind of uh, becoming a bit more important. When it comes to emails, generally speaking, you want to have a width of a thousand pixels. Um, typically the best practice says around 750, but you, you can always like shrink down the image and kind of manipulate it as you will. Right. And in terms of height, this is completely custom, but I like to always start at 3000 pixels and then trim my way down. If you really want to be extra safe, you can have 1000 by 4000, 1000 by 5000, if it's like a really long email design, but generally speaking, 1000 by 3000 is plenty. And if you're using the free version of Canva, then you're going to have to crop it after you actually export it into JPEG format, etc. Now, if you don't, uh, if, if you use the pro version, then simply to resize, you could just hit resize right here and you'll be able to manipulate it as you go um, accordingly to your designs. So now that you have a blank canvas, let's jump right into it. At the top of every single email, you always want, want to make sure the logo of the brand is clearly displayed. So in this case, I'm just going to go over to my client's store and then just copy that image real quick and uh, put their logo at the top of the email. You're going to see that sometimes, you know, the image isn't exactly copied to the right sizing straight away. So to crop an image is really simple. You just drag the sidebar, right? And you crop it to roughly the right size. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just so that this, um, it can be centered because let's say if it was like this, then centering would be here and it would obviously look off center. So in this case, I'm just going to put it like this for their logo and then quickly center it at the top of the email. Sometimes on your email marketing software, they're going to preload the logo onto your email template. This is not always necessary because sometimes when you're viewing things on mobile, um, because it's like a dynamic, uh, I guess like image, it will adjust to the screen size and things along those lines. And sometimes it doesn't actually adjust very well to mobile. So to remove a lot of the complication, I like to always have the logo integrated into the banner design. So to do this, all you need to do is center the logo. And once you center the logo, as you can see, if you zoom out, it looks perfectly fine. Let's just turn this logo slightly smaller. So what you're going to see in this tutorial, I don't really have like any scripts. I'm just going to go completely off the top of my head because they're running a sale at the moment. And I feel like I can design something for this store in like less than 10 minutes, right? So it's going to be a bit of a fun speed run for you guys. Uh, let's jump into it. So as you can see, it's running a free coffee table offer. So let's make this email offer centric, right? So it's going to be a really, really simple offer email. Nothing kind of like complicated, nothing um, too fancy. So when it comes to the fonts for this uh, specific brand, they use a font called Barlow, uh, Barlow condensed bold for the headings and then semi condensed for any kind of like subtext, subtitles, etc. So this works fantastically well. So since it's a free coffee table offer and I believe the angle is like a full sale. So autumn sale, free coffee. So as you can see right now, obviously the text is way too big for the purposes of this design. So you can shrink the font uh, to, let's say we'll go with like 51, for example, this works pretty well. Let me just remove the full sale since it's not a complete angle. You can also shrink it like this to make it kind of spaced out nicer. Let's make sure everything is camel case nicely right here. And to be honest, you can even highlight the 699, right? So a free coffee table, you can highlight this. So to highlight something, you can simply just create a shape. Uh, there should be a square shape right here and that should be added at the bottom. Oh, let's just delete those. Just going to select a color that is somewhat similar to 
their uh, kind of like brand color. I'm not gonna actually use this for my client. But generally speaking, I do have a professional graphic designer design all of this. So I'm pretty like useless at design, but I'm gonna show you how you can also create very simple but aesthetic looking emails uh, within Canva with very little professional experience, right? So for this text, I wanna kind of make it white to have it stand out a bit more. So it would look something like this. Free coffee table worth $6.99 with every table ordered. In terms of the banner creative, well, some lifestyle imagery works very, very nicely. So I'm just gonna scroll down and copy this image right here to use uh, for this creative. So we just need to line it up here and then drag it out just a bit more to kind of like suit the aspect ratio a little bit. And then I'm gonna crop it slightly because you don't want the banner to be too long because remember, we need to have a call to action that is clearly visible on the banner without the need for people to scroll if they were to open this email, say something on a device like a mobile device. So let's zoom back in. I'm just gonna zoom out slightly, shift this up a little bit, and you can see it's already kind of coming together, right? The logo's at the top, clear offer conveyed straight away in the first seconds of someone looking at the email. Now let's just create a very, very simple call to action. When it comes to call to actions, what I like to do is just create a shape and then put some uh, text in the shape. So I'm just gonna make a copy of this right here and I'm gonna drag it in here, but change the text. For call to actions, there's generally only a few types of kind of text that you can do. So cop uh, copywriting for this is super simple. It's just like order now, order today, shop now. Anything along those lines will work super, super well. So I'm just gonna drag it nicely and then also reshape the button accordingly. Um, if you really wanna get fancy and kind of more creative, it could be claim, uh, claim your coffee table. So personally, I don't really like how this looks because you can see the call to action is slightly too long for my liking. So then in which case I would just do order so now I'm just gonna build out the email slightly more and we're gonna do a time lapse. So this is gonna be sped up and I'm gonna show you guys what the email looks like in just a second and I'll walk you through my thinking behind this. So as you can see, what I've done here is just design a very, very simple banner, clearly conveying the offer in the first three seconds and having the call to action so the user, the viewer doesn't actually need to scroll to understand what the offer is and know what they need to do with this email. I've also inserted a really, really easy, unique selling point of this brand where this is a table that can shrink and uh, kind of like extend out to however much it needs. So all the way up to fitting 12 people. So for example, you can see here, it, this very comfortably sits one to two people, but if you expand it out, expand it out, expand it out, you can all fit up to 12 people on a single table, which is awesome, right? So quick, unique selling point. And if you wanna insert something like, uh, kind of like to add a bit more social proof, then you can do that simply by doing, uh, by like going onto the website and you can see here, they have a very, very nice looking review section, right? So let's just browse some of their reviews and we could literally just like screenshot this, take a screen grab of this and copy it into the email directly without needing to reformat anything. So crop some and I'll show you what it'll look like in a second. Now, when it comes to picking reviews, I'm not being too kind of like picky with them at the moment. However, when it comes to designing your own emails, you should ideally choose the reviews that handles the most objections, uh, most of the common objections. So for example, um, if you're selling high ticket items that are like super heavy and clunky, generally speaking, delivery is going to be a uh, objection that you'll need to handle, right? Many people will say, think, okay, how long is this actually going to take to get to me? Is this going to kind of like have a bunch of custom fees or whatever? So you want to be picking reviews that address this concern, right? So that would be things like reviews that mention, Hey, you know, yes, this uh, table took a while to arrive but it was so worth the wait. Or 
Another concern furniture buyers may have is like, what if the assembly is like super, super complicated, right? Which is why I really like this one. So great delivery, already addressing one of the objections. It's ready to go right out of the box. This shows that even like almost like a five-year-old can put the kind of table together by himself, right? Obviously that was a bit of exaggeration, but you get the point. So you wanna crop it nicely and you wanna import it again into Canva. So generally speaking, I like to follow the rule of three when it comes to reviews. Anything more is just like people aren't really going to be bothered to read it. Um, this isn't the best example just because you can see like the in terms of uh, length, each review is like very, very different. So normally what I would do is I would just replace the top one as it's simply too long with something along this line where it's like function is key. I love this table. It's multi-purpose and very functional. We'll crop it nicely and then we'll replace it in here so we'll just slap it right here cool and now you can see in literally less than five minutes we've created a very very nice and aesthetic review section so i'm just gonna change because this is kind of bothering me like the capitalization right here is kind of bothering me so i'm gonna change this i'm also gonna shrink this font a little bit more so I'm just going to copy and paste this and add another quick title. So here's what our customers say. And then if you want to make it slightly more grayed out to make it seem like a bit more in the background, you could just play with the transparency as opposed to changing the colors manually. So I'm going to put this as 85% uh, transparency, maybe a bit more, maybe like 75% try that yeah that looks pretty good and then I'm gonna also actually I'm gonna insert another section specific to do with the offer you see how the offer is gonna be a free uh, coffee table I'm just gonna get an image of the coffee table right here and then paste that in right here and then add another very simple call to action at the end so you can see in around kind of like 10, 15 minutes, I've designed a decently look good looking email for this brand. And no doubt that if you use Canva and just follow this design principle, you can do it too. So I'll just quickly recap what I've done here. So at the top of every single email, you always wanna have a logo. Next is let's design the banner, right? So the banner needs to do a few things. Number one, it needs to convey exactly what you're offering is so that would be your product and also what the call to action is here you can see i'm showing the product as soon as someone opens it so it's clearly a piece of furniture that we're selling right and then in terms of an offer to get people a bit more interested it's going to be free coffee table worth 699 and it's very clear in the first three seconds because what people are going to see they're going to see free coffee table 699 right because that's highlighted and then with every table ordered as the terms and conditions and then a very very simple call to action so imagine if someone were to open this email on their phone they would immediately know okay cool they're giving away a free coffee table that's worth 699 and they're selling this table and in this email they want us to order today right and then if they were to scroll down then they would see some very simple unique selling points along with you know just some social proof to say hey like we're a legit company this product is used by literally thousands of thousands of people um, and then a call to action at the bottom. The reason why we have a call to action at the bottom is because we want people to be able to click without needing to scroll all the way up to the top of the email, right? So this is a very, very simple way of creating emails and to, sim to export this, what you wanna do is hit download and then you can export it as a PNG. Now to actually put this into Klaviyo, what you would do is, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into campaigns and then you need to go to create a campaign, hit email. And let's say, let's just name this like test campaign one, test one, right? We need to pick a list and segment to send it to. And then when it comes to placing this on the content file, so let's just export this real quick. Uh, let's do drag and drop. So we're gonna select a basic template. And is there a basic template that's just like one image? So this is where a lot of people get more and more confused. And this is why a lot of people are not able to make stellar designs is because they stick to the template builder within Klaviyo, 
right? And the problem with this is it's not as customizable as say something like Photoshop or Canva. So generally speaking, what you would do is you would just load this as an image, upload browse file, upload the design we just did, give it a second. And you can see this email loads and this looks already very professional, right? But let's say, you know, you want to include various segments and let's say uh, the order today at the bottom drives traffic to, let's say your social pages, right? So how do you actually not just put one link into this email? Well, first of all, you'll need to crop the image, right? So you hit save and then you click the image again and then you can do edit image and then you can crop and transform. You can do something along this line where it's like all this would be considered one call to action. You hit apply and then you hit save. And now you can see it's nicely cropped, right? So it's not having all of it. So this could be call to action number one, CTA one. So in the link section, obviously you would link it to whatever landing page you're driving traffic to. And then to simply duplicate it, hit duplicate and then replace the image with the original free coffee table with everyone ordered and then you would crop it again. And now you see how by doing this, you'll have, you'll be able to have two call to actions very, very simply. And you know, as an email, this looks fantastic. Now, if you found this video useful, then I might have something for you. Link down below is my e-commerce email marketing course that is designed to take a complete beginner to email marketing to a professional level where you can generate between 20 to 40% of monthly revenue for literally any e-commerce brand out there, right? So link in the description if you wanna check that out and I'll see you guys in the next one.